be it. As a steward, if, it, if, if, if God is saying that, you know, you are a living temple of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit lives in you. He can't live in a, in a glass, golden building. He chooses to live in you. Why? Because you are the most expensive, precious, precious, precious thing that has ever happened to God. God does not attach the value on the silver, the natural silver, and the gold, and the diamonds. No, it doesn't move God at all. No matter how fancy the building might be, it does not move God. What moves God is you and me. That is what moves God. That is the reason why he had to leave, you know, heaven to come, you know, to this place so that he comes and dies for you and me. He had to leave that not because there was so much silver. He says silver and gold belongs to me. Everything belongs to me. He had to come because of you, 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 and me. So you are of more value than anything else. So including you belong to God. And as I was saying, that if we understand that, you know, everything belongs to God, including you, because, you know, he's saying, and the world and all that, I don't know where you are. I don't know where you are, whether you are, you are on this one, or if you are not on this one, then you are excused. <laughs> that, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. But if you are on the same earth that I'm, I'm on, God is saying, <laughs> the earth and all that is in it, Belongs to me. Amen. Belongs to me. Uh, there are some religions, you know, that have been preaching, you know, the message of, you know, you see, I don't want to mention their names. You see, uh, you see my brothers and you know, sisters, uh, God actually is a good God. You see, uh, he will just remove the evil people from this, uh, uh, this earth. And we're going to inherit those mansions. We will inherit those mansions. But when we read the Bible, according you know, to 2 Timothy, chapter you know, 2, verse, uh, chapter, 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 yeah, 2 Timothy, chapter 2, you know, from verse 1 you know, to 5, the Bible says everything shall melt. Mm. Everything, this whole earth, the Bible says everything will melt. Then why are you going to be if things will be melting? And you are saying you will inherit the mansion. You are not in the mansion. And the same Bible says in Revelation, I saw a new heaven, a new earth coming down. Amen. So uh, I, I, I get this step, you know, when people you know, start preaching, like, you know, you see how we will inherit, you know, all, all this good, good. There's no good house here. There's no good house comparing to what God has in store, what God has prepared for his children. There's no mansion that can be compared to what God has prepared for you. When he was saying, I'm going to my father to prepare a place for you. In my father's house, there are so many mansions. Yeah. Amen. There are mansions waiting for you and me. But depending on what you are doing here on earth, depending whether you are being a good steward or not, we will determine whether you, you actually possess that mansion or not. We will determine. So it's, it's about 